In this video, I am making candied sweet potatoes on top of the stove. If you want to see that process, keep watching. Usually when I make my candied sweet potatoes, I will bake them in the oven, but sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I need to cook them on top of the stove because they'll get done much quicker. And when I cook them on top of the stove, my favorite pan to use is my Curtis Stone Dura Diamond 14 inch multi-purpose pan. It's one of those pans that's really large and can stand up to what I needed to do to make those candied sweet potatoes. It cooks them beautifully and it doesn't burn them. So let me show you how I make those. So the first thing I did was wash and peel five sweet potatoes and then I sliced them up. And you wanna to try to get the ones that tend to be a little bit longer and not real fat because then you can get them cut a lot easier. And then I add my sugar. And I always start with two cups of sugar. And then if it looks like that's not enough, then I can always add more. Sprinkle it with lemon extract. And then sprinkle it with some butter extract. And if you can't find butter extract, you can use imitation butter flavor. And then I add a stick of butter and I cut the butter up into small pieces and then just dot it on top of the potatoes. I think probably the hardest part was getting that butter dotted on top of those potatoes because the butter is just so greasy when you try to handle it. So I had to wash my hands once I was done. And then I sprinkled it lightly with nutmeg and you don't want to put too much because you don't want it to turn brown, just a little bit. And I poured in about a quarter cup of water into the bottom of the pan and that's just so it wouldn't stick while the butter was beginning to melt. And then I put the lid on it and then cooked it covered for about 20 to 30 minutes. So once it started to tenderize, I took the lid off, but you wanna keep the lid on until it starts to become tender. Now I put the lid on top of the pan because I wanted these potatoes to cook relatively quickly. So that's why I put the lid on top and now that they've started to cook and they've softened up, now I'm going to take the lid off and let them slow down and cook and just kind of let, the, let them just kind of simmer in their juices. And this is just a way to candy sweet potatoes on top of the stove. Now this particular Curtis Stone pan is the um, 14 inch 14 inch multi-purpose pan and it will go in the oven and I have used it in the oven before but what I wanted to do today was show you how I could candy these sweet potatoes on top of the stove and this is the perfect size pan to do that. So just spooning some of the sauce over them. Now I'll just let them cook for about another five minutes and we'll see what's what. You can see here as I push down that these potatoes are nice and tender. So they're doing like they're supposed to. Let's give these a taste. Mm. 
Good. Very good. They're nice and tender. Now, if you want them more tender, you can put the lid back on them and let them cook for maybe another five minutes or so. That'll soften them up a little bit more. Or they're great. They're just like this. Let me grab a spoon so I can get some of the juices. The butter sauce that's on them is amazing. Your family will love these sweet potatoes. And I'm really glad that I made them in my Curtis Stone 14 inch multi-purpose pan because it just showed me another use for that pan. So if you think you might be interested in checking it out, I will put a link in the description box below. If you liked watching my candied sweet potatoes on top of the stove, I've got another video that I think you will love and it is my baked candied sweet potatoes. I will link it above and link it below so that you can check that out. And if you're thinking candied sweet potatoes, you're probably thinking Thanksgiving. So check out my Thanksgiving 101 playlist because in that playlist I show you how to roast a turkey, how to make my cornbread stuffing, how to make my famous mac and cheese, how to make collard greens. So there are quite a few things in that Thanksgiving playlist that I think you will love and want on your Thanksgiving table. So be sure to check that out. I'll link it above and I'll link it below. And if you're new to my channel, I'm Denise Jordan, and I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I will see you in the next video.